Rep. Matt Cartwright, a Democrat who was among those who met with Zelensky at the Scranton Army Ammunition Plant, said the president had a simple message, thank you. And we need more. The Scranton plant is one of the few facilities in the country to manufacture 155mm artillery shells and has increased production over the past year. Ukraine has already received more than 3 million of them from the US Zelensky said he expressed his gratitude to all the employees at the plant. It is in places like this where you can truly feel that the democratic world can prevail, he wrote on X, thanks to people like these in Ukraine, in America, and in all partner countries who work tirelessly to ensure that life is protected. Zelensky's visit kicked off a busy week in the United States. He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, as he seeks to shore up support for Ukraine. So this is how we receive our steel. Every rail car can hold 200,000 pounds of steel. If we bring steel in by truck, our cars will come in, they'll be 20 feet long, and then we have passed You said that 400 people work here, but I wanted very much to come here and to thank you. 400 people saved millions of Ukrainians because of the result of your work. I'm very thankful just from ordinary Ukrainians to you. And what can I say? Thank you so much. You helped us to survive against Putin invasion. And thanks to your families and God bless everything will be very good with your families and with you, God bless America and Slava Ukraini. Thank you again very much for everything, guys. Thank you. Under extraordinarily tight security, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Sunday visited the Pennsylvania Ammunition Factory that is producing one of the most critically needed munitions for his country's fight to fend off Russian ground forces. His visit to the Scranton Army Ammunition Plant kicked off a busy week in the United States to shore up support for Ukraine in the war. He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. As Zelensky's large motorcade made its way to the ammunition plant on Sunday afternoon, a small contingent of supporters waving Ukrainian flags assembled nearby to show their appreciation for his visit. The area around the ammunition plant had been sealed off since the morning, with municipal garbage trucks positioned across several roadblocks and a very heavy presence of city, regional, and state police, including troopers on horseback. The Scranton plant is one of the few facilities in the country to manufacture 155 millimeter artillery shells. Zelensky was expected meet and thank workers who have increased production of the rounds over the past year. The 155 millimeter shells are used in howitzer systems, 
which are towed large guns with long barrels that can fire at various angles. Howitzers can strike targets up to 15 miles to 20 miles away and are highly valued by ground forces to take out enemy targets from a protected distance. This is so important, uh, absolutely important. Uh, it's, it's just very heartwarming and uh, that he is here because I think he personally wants to thank the workers for, because they basically are the ones that are uh, helping Ukraine with the ammunition. This plant has been here for as long as I've been here. A lot of my friends, their parents worked here. Um, it's unfortunate that we need a plant like this, but um, it's here and it's here to protect uh, the world. And uh, I strongly feel that that way.